Welcome back to the broadcast. Okay, since we've been talking lasagna today, which is normally not a healthy meal, I don't really think it is at all, um, Lisa decided to tackle the challenge of lightening up lasagna. Yep. Uh, We're going to do Fit Foodie Lasagna because it's National Lasagna Day. I'm going to have to believe this like when I see it. <laughs> okay. It. It's actually really easy. It's sort of like the lazy man's lasagna and you're cutting out your um, you're cutting out the pasta, which right there is is cutting a ton of calories. So then what makes it lasagna for not putting carbs? Yeah, I'm going to show you. Okay, so first of all, we started with um, I got a little head start on things. So we did um, our 2 tablespoons of chopped garlic. Okay, so about, that's what's going on in that's here. That's what's going on in here. 2 tablespoons of chopped garlic. You've got about a half a cup of um, chopped onions and then I use lean turkey you can use um, yeah, I like lean using turkey when I make ground it. turkey you can use lean ground chicken you can use a super lean ground beef if you're completely opposed to See turkey, how this is like started. my mom is um, and then if you're if you're really oh, <laughs> if you're really an overachiever you can make your own sauce with um, you know tomatoes and everything I just use canned sauce or jarred sauce I like Classico because it's really low in sugars Classico is my favorite brand too yeah it's yeah. got a really good taste it's to it tiny. it is. I read it's, in yeah. that book um, eat this not that where it's like easy substitutions mm -hmm. of, of like instead of using ragu use this and it says Classico is the healthiest yeah. um, can and it is because so like I said you're substituting a lasagna what's the substitution if yeah. there's no lasagna, what's the substitute? Eggplant. 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 Yes, that and is the we're key. Gonna, we're going to get to that. So let's first make the sauce, and this is what you've got going on. Like I said, super easy because you can just use it from a jar. That's good. I could just eat that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start making our, our cheesy mix. We're going to start with a half a cup of ricotta, part skim ricotta. And did you, you opted for the healthy ricotta, I'm assuming. Part skim. Okay. Okay, and then instead of using a lot of recipes, I'll use a full cup of ricotta. I do half ricotta, and then I do half low-fat cottage cheese. Because okay. again, it's just it's lower, it's skinnier, and it still tastes really I love good. And it still tastes cottage really cheese. good. Yeah. The problem with cottage cheese is that it's kind of watery. So um, one of the things that we add into is a slightly beaten egg. Well, sometimes you can buy that. Um, what is it? Heavier curd cottage cheese that isn't as watery. I feel like. But I'm not sure. Does that come in a in a low fat? I don't know. <laughs> so the egg is going to help kind of bind everything I don't really together. Pay attention to that. And um, and let's see. And then we've got a quarter cup of parmesan. Okay, you're gonna salt and pepper this to taste. This is like a lactose intolerance person's <laughs> like death wish right here. Mix it up. Okay, and then while you're mixing, let me come over here. While you're mixing, we're gonna make our lasagna, our noodles, with an eggplant. And See how soups? many do you, do you buy three? So it depends on how large a portion you're gonna make. This is gonna make like just a basic casserole dish size, and I'll probably use about two. So you wanna just slice them. You know, if I was really good, I would have one of those mandolin <laughs> slicers, Susie. But you just want to slice some them thin. thin slices. See, I tried to make spaghetti squash one time, and it was such a hot mess in my kitchen that I literally was finding spaghetti squash in random places for like <laughs> spaghetti squash. Were you doing it in in lieu of noodles? Yeah. 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 That didn't work get, so well. It's so good, though, spaghetti squash. Is. Well, someone needs to teach me how to do it correctly. Okay, so you're all mixed up there, right? Yep. And we've theoretically salted and peppered that to taste. Okay, so then you want to just, um, I always save a little bit of the sauce out just to put it at the bottom. Oh, and you've of coated it. the bottom I've of coated the, the bottom with so it. that it doesn't stick right. And then you just you just do your slices, however they fit in your in your thing. See that? Oh. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And do your boys like this? They it is boys tested and approved. <laughs> anyway, so you're just gonna you're gonna line the, the dish with those. And then I'm gonna do a layer of this. You're gonna do a layer of that. How much? Like I usually do like a dollop on each thing and then spread it around. Like this, how mm -hmm. I'm doing it? Yep. And it's two layers or one layer? Um I did two layers and what you're gonna taste, but I think if you wanna do yeah, three, you can do whatever you want it, yeah. Make it big and fat. Uh -oh. <laughs> but not fattening. Okay, so we okay. do that. Yeah, you got it. And then we'll do the same with the sauce. And then, obviously, for time purposes, I'm not doing it right. very Right, we won't make the whole thing. But we'll do the same thing with the meat sauce. So you'll take that and you'll do a little, little layer <gasps> of that. Oh! Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can set that You, you that. get the idea, right? So oh you're no. just going to continue to layer it. I and you're going to finish spoon. it off with... Um, some light mozzarella cheese, some shredded light mozzarella cheese. Do you put one cheese. more layer of eggplant on top? 
Yeah, you'll do meat sauce, and then you'll start again with eggplant. Yeah, then this is the cheese, final. Cheese and mix end with and the meat egg, sauce. Eggplant on top. You end mm -hmm. with the eggplant. I actually end with the meat Fabulous. sauce. Eggplant, meat sauce, and then I the need to taste this cheese. just to just and confirm. Healthy, right? Yeah. So go it's ahead. Healthy. And, it's healthy. And then how long do we cook it? this, okay. and, and what is our oven oh, temperature at? Good That's question. important. It is a very good question. So you're actually at 375, not at 350. You're at 375. Um, Thank I cooked you. it for 40 minutes or 30 minutes rather, and just kind of eyeball it and see. Yeah. 30 minutes on. covered and then 15 minutes with the foil and off to get that brown. And you coated it all on the top before you put it in the oven, that final layer of eggplant all over on top of it, you put Parmesan cheese, right? All over is the top the, is the mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese, okay. But the recipe mm. is at dthebroadcast.com. Very good. It's very good. Let me, I need, we really need a moment of okay. proof it over here. It's really good. Here you go, Corey. Are you just saying that because you don't want to hurt Lisa? I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what everybody at home thinks. They're like, no, um, it's really good. They just don't want to tell the truth. And the eggplant really adds. You know what's funny? People ask you know, me all the time, do you really like the food that you taste? Like, what if you taste something that you don't like? <laughs> Today might be that day. I don't think. <laughs> Try it. Try it, because here's what I was surprised about. Because um, I don't cook with eggplant a lot, and the eggplant slices really do sort of give you that that oak that <laughs> right. does. It's yeah. very good. It's this is very good. It's very tasty. Not and bad. Then, I, and it's real own. skinny. And the turkey ground beef is really good. With I it. think we'll with keep that. you. Here you go, honey. We'll keep you. You can mm. cook again tomorrow. Yeah. That is I mean, very who good. <laughs> who doesn't love National Lasagna Day and having something that's skinnier? Hmm? I ate the fatty one and I ate the good one too. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I <laughs> had a fatty one. I said, did I, I said, oh my gosh, I have to follow that. I have to follow that. It's really hard oh to follow that. Oh my goodness, that. really know what they're doing. Where can we find your recipe? At dthebroadcast.tv. Just of click course. on today's links and um, the recipe is there. And also the other Fit Foodie recipes that we've done on the show are there too. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the glowing recommendation. We're back in a moment. <laughs>